Hello. It is. Hi, I am great. How are you? Good. Long time no see. I know. It's been a while. Where are you right now? Um, uh, where are we? Oh, Rock Springs, Wyoming, at the base of the Rockies, Ellen, at the base of the Rockies. Wow. And you're, because you're traveling in an airstream, right? Yes, it's, um, I'm on a secret mission, which it's not so secret now, but um, I have to take, uh, I have to go visit my daughter out in Oregon uh, for some very important, uh, it's an important delivery. She needs her skateboard and her guitar. That's essential. Yep. Okay. Yep. So you're driving cross country because you live in Texas, right? Yes, I do. And we, we choose to wear masks and be safe during our journey. Good. That's a good choice. It's a very good choice. Um, how, how did you fare during the uh, winter storm in Texas? It was pretty bad. Uh, it wasn't so bad. Um, I wasn't home. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, I've, been, I, I've been away for uh, about a month and a half. I'd been in Toronto. I went through my first quarantine, which was interesting. Um, and I was shooting a film, and that happened in the midst of that. So Catherine was home uh, with the, uh, the animals, and then the neighbors moved in with their animals. <laughs> and uh, she lost electricity, I think, for about 36 hours. So they had the fire was going, and they were melting snow in the fireplace and doing what they did. But what, what, look, what was great about it, I felt horrible actually being away because I mean, the strain on me was pretty intense because, I mean, they were doing what they were doing, but still, I had to still, you know, manage to rustle up room service and stuff. It wasn't easy on me. Oh, but, that's horrible. Um, yes, but uh, she, they did a great job. And truth be told, and uh, Jason and Todd McMullen and my buddies all, and the neighborhood who all came together in our neighborhood to help each other out, it, it was incredible. It really, truly was. And I just the other day, I got home, and I, we had a big... Uh, fire outside and we, we did a special dinner and uh, I was able to say thank you to everyone. So it, it was pretty impressive. Yeah, that is the one good thing that comes out of uh, situations like that is it brings people closer together and we realize how much we need and depend on one another in times like that. Absolutely. So you have a lot of, I think about this, of course I think about the people, but I think of all the animals when it gets down to like nine degrees or however it, it, it got so freezing and you have a lot of animals, and, and how did they fare during that? Uh, due to my wife, they all fared out, they fared very well. I mean, she brought the donkeys in the house, so they stayed in the kitchen, and um, then the, we had the dogs, and um, you know, the, they did everything that, I'm just kidding, she didn't bring the donkeys in the house. <laughs> but, uh, but she was going out, and she was breaking up their water and taking them uh, water uh, every day out to the, out to the barn, and uh, keeping them warm with uh, heat lamps when we had the electricity and just doing what she needed to do. Now, uh, we're showing all kinds of pictures of dogs. So you have, how many dogs do you have? We have four of them now. Yeah. The one you don't see right there is we, we've got a pandemic dog. This dog does tricks. This is incredible. Watch this. All right, come on down from up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you let him go. He just oh, no. You got to pull him down. You don't want to do that. It's a, um, yeah, this, is, uh, this is Hiccup. He's our. Uh, he's a dog we got like around uh, December, I think. Hiccup. That's a good yeah. name. Hiccup. It sounds like he has a hiccups. He's a great dog. Um, so hey, I, I should congratulate you because it's a big deal. You're in People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive here uh, in every age section. That's where you are in the every age section. So. You're sexy at every age. I know. Look at that. Congratulations. You know, uh, I can't wait to call George Clooney up and tell him. You know, he's one sex. Sorry. Sorry about that. Pick up. He's one. He's also a watchdog. He's one um, sexiest man alive twice. Yes. But here I am. Here I am. I'm catching up. Yeah. I'm catching up. Points are adding up. Yeah, but he, he, he's just sexiest man. You're sexiest man at every age. No, you know what? He wants to be back on TV. Once you give a little dog a taste of being on television, they want to get back on television. That's okay. okay. That's all right. Um, all right, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to play a game. We'll be back. We're back with Kyle Chandler. Who are you saying hi to? I can't read that uh, writing. It's Sydney and, Sydney and Sawyer, my daughters. Hi, Sydney and Sawyer. 
Um, all right, we're going to talk about uh, the movie, and then I need more answers about this road trip you're taking. So Godzilla vs. Kong, tell everybody, I assume it's about Godzilla vs. Kong, but tell people what it's about. <laughs> That's, 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 that's good forethought right there. It's about, um, it's about Godzilla and King Kong. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. It's, um, it, it's, it's about, this is the first time that Godzilla and King, and, and King Kong have met on film. It's the first time ever. And now listen, I've dealt with this King Kong before because I was in the original King Kong, not the original original, but the one with Peter Jackson. So this is my second time around with him, and this is my second time around with Godzilla. Now I'm not gonna pick favorites on this, but I do wanna <laughs> say that Godzilla has got some very special attributes that normal mammals don't, right? Primates don't. But King Kong's got this. Yeah. yeah. And none of us would do anything without that. So it's going to be a battle galore. Yeah. That's all I've got to say about that. So, so the thumb against fire shooting out of a. That's. Okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yes, you will. All right. All right. The power of the thumb. Who knew? Um, so, how long have you been on the road? Uh, just a couple days now. I just did get um, back from Toronto three days ago, and the next day we packed up and off we went. Okay, and you're with, who are you with, your wife? Yes. And your dog? Yes, my wife and Hiccup, yeah. And Hiccup. And, and, and what kind of cool things, are you seeing things that, have you done this before, a road trip? I, I drive cross country a lot. You know, remember I, I was on the motorcycle last time. I, I usually ride a motorcycle, but this time, uh, you know, the pandemic brought our family together so close for about that 10, 12 months. And then within a month, we all split across across the world, one to college, one to London. I'm in Toronto, Cass at home. So now to be able to come back home and for her and I to be together and then do this road trip, it's 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 pretty fantastic. And we're we're great on we're great travelers together. It's how we met. Oh, really? Yeah. Like yeah, we, I had a, a big Aspen Cade motorcycle back in the 90s, and we used to travel on that all up and down the country, uh, up and down the, the West Coast, and um, we pretty much fell in love on that motorcycle. You know, it's one of the big gold wings that had, you know, a tape player in it, you know, and the, the quadraphonic sound, and we did all kinds of camping with it, and it was just a lot of great fun. That sounds fantastic. That sounds so much fun, like so much fun. And how many more days will you be uh, on the road till you get to, to deliver the skateboard and the guitar? Um, I think we'll probably get to Sawyer um, in about six days. No. And then we'll take maybe between seven and 10 days to get back. This, I guess it's sort of, it's sort of like me being cheap and this is our second honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> you're not just sexy, you're clever. Really smart. It's, Anything to save a penny. Uh, <laughs> it's great talking to you, and uh, I look forward to having you in the studio whenever we're able to have people back. I'd love to see you again, and, and thanks a lot. Thank you so much, and thanks to the, the virtual audience. All right. They're from all over the world today. They're all saying hello and thank you. Godzilla vs. Kong will be in theaters and on HBO Max on the, March 31st. We'll see how strong that thumb goes. And uh, we'll be back. Thanks, Kyle.